cue your Joker Dark Knight memes because I'm gonna watch the world burn a little bit in this one. And here we go. We're gonna be talking about the rollout glitch from under center. This is something that is all over the place right now. You're seeing a lot of players running it. They're tired of getting a gapped. They're tired of the sheds, the pass rush in this game being so quick and they're trying to move the pocket and a lot of players are running under center to get away from not only four down lineman formations but also against slot corner and a gap blitz metas like you see out of dollar this is leaving a ton of players out there in our community really upset and frustrated and lost as to how to stop this so i'm gonna lay the challenge out there for you last week we did a bunch of light goals and we smashed them all i asked for 200 you guys gave me 600 this one i'm going to ask for 250 likes if you guys show a little bit of love here on this video 250 likes i will drop defense for how to shut down under center rollouts tomorrow it's happening. So the gauntlet is down you guys like a little anarchy don't hit the like button but make sure you post something below make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit that notification bell i still love y'all so even if you don't want to counter for this out you know drop something below help me out help you help me all right let's get into this this is um obviously gonna piss off a lot of people out there in the community and and, um, you know, again, the counter's coming tomorrow if you guys hit that like goal. So the way that this works is basically there is um, a way that you can do this with pretty much any quarterback in the game. I would say you still want to be in like the low to mid 90s speed wise. You can get away with lesser speed quarterbacks. Um, but let's start off with a four man rush. The key for this is to regardless of whether or not they're blitzing you or hitting the contain, we are going to go five out, meaning no running back blocking, no tight end block. What, 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 what? This is the best way to do this because you'll have all five receivers available to you. Choose an under center formation of your liking, preferably one that has lots of post routes and corners and things you could throw on the run. I would actually recommend that you guys probably use the roaming dead eye ability with your quarterback in tandem with a velocity ability such as set feet and then just release the trigger. Although if you guys know how to get blue passes on your meter, you guys can throw all kinds of dead eyes on the run, cross body, no look, all kinds of stuff on the run. So if you guys can know how to get blue consistently, you don't need any dead eye abilities. We're gonna set up a little rollout. A lot of players are just gonna have like streaks and corners and wheel routes to the running back and then throw back routes in the middle of the field like curls. Choose the side that you wanna roll out to. So I'm gonna roll out to the right, obviously on this route combo. You're gonna slide protect opposite of your rollout. So that's left bumper or L1 on PlayStation and then the right analog stick to the left. What that's gonna do is that's gonna tell the offensive line block this direction. Then what we're gonna do, since this is five linemen blocking four, we're gonna tell our tackle and our right guard who are already sliding left to double team the defensive tackle on the right side, which is gonna leave this defensive end that has the mic icon on him. I'm actually not gonna put the mic on him but I just wanted to show you which one that is. He's gonna come in free. Now, the key with this is when you go to roll out, there's a couple of things. One, you have to wait just a little bit. Everyone's so antsy when they do this. And the fact of the matter is Gridiron kind of showed the under center speed boost glitch last year. So if this is something that is intriguing to you, make sure you guys are checking out my strategy website. I'm not gonna harp on it too much. You guys know where to go. Link is in the description. I've got so much content over there for you guys to figure it out. But again here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for the quarterbacks foot to drop back so when you drop back from under center you want that foot to hit the turf before you do anything but then you want to actually make sure that you are scrambling to basically i would say five o'clock or seven o'clock depending on a left or right rollout so a lot of players have this habit of kind of jamming the stick down and outside like super exaggerated like four o'clock or even sometimes like three o'clock the truth is you almost want to run straight backwards but then just a little bit to the side when you do this and what this is going to do is this is going to pull the edge rusher into a flat pursuit angle on this so when we snap the ball first step then we're running straight back and around and then this is going to allow us to throw these throws on the run now right there we got an on the run inaccurate you know obviously i don't have the dashing dead eye roaming dead eye type ability but again if i get a blue chances are it's going to be a perfectly complete ball so i'll do it here a few times again you kind of want to wait for that first step and then you're going to sprint straight back to five o'clock and then this is going to allow you to throw you know, these balls on the run. Now, again, if you're going arm side, more often than not, you're gonna throw a catchable ball regardless. There's a lot of players out there that this is all they do and they run that roaming dead eye. But, uh, you know, again, with this, you probably can set up some, you know, routes that are going to make themselves available in the middle of the field. So again, here, the point that is very important to remember is you're basically running straight backwards with a slight angle to the outside. It's not outside with a slight angle backwards. This is gonna allow you to kind of get this throw on the run. Again, here, you see, I'm able to throw this green or blue. You're gonna 
be more often than not just fine. Just make sure that you guys are practicing your meters if you're not using the roaming Deadeye. But beating a four-man rush is quite easy. Um, you know, again, you're just kind of running straight back and then out to five o'clock, and then you're gonna be able to kind of make these blue throws. You see right here, that was actually a, a good timing, but a bad free form. So that was my fault in terms of where I placed it. <laughs> As long as your meter is corrected, the ball's gonna go where you freeform it, okay? So this is gonna be really, really big for kind of moving the pocket and also being able to throw some throws down on the sideline. Uh, obviously, a lot of players really struggle with, you know, fitting these throws in, but you see here, like, you know, a green, a blue, for the most part, you're gonna be okay. So that's how you do this against four down linemen. Now let's talk about dollar. Now, the thing about dollar is that uh, most players really like to run the pinched A gap meta and they don't particularly like to have this right slot in press alignment. So this is actually gonna be really, really effective against the A gap meta. But the truth is a lot of players are gonna think, okay, well, I just need to blitz my slot corners. But here's the honest part. You basically can slide protect away from the side you wanna to roll to and do the exact same thing. So again, you snap the ball, kind of run straight back to five o'clock. Now you're out flanking the guy and you can hit these throws out there on the perimeter. So, uh, you know, again, right there, I just ran stock verticals and, you know, not the best route combo for this particular throw. But again, as you imagine here, like if I wanted to run, you know, uh, a slide protection double team, even if they were to like, even if they were to basically um, leave this guy on the edge, you, you could still go ahead and slide protect away and then uh, throw basically the double team icon on the D tackle. And then as soon as you snap the ball, you're just running back again. You see like you can get outside of that particular pursuit angle. And you see right there, I'm able to throw a blue corner out on the run, you know, kind of off my back foot with as long as I get blue, it's going where I put it. So, you know, pretty easy to do. Now, here's the other thing. A lot of players think that you can only roll arm side. This is actually not true. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and side protect to the right, double team here and then roll out to the left. Again, it's the same premise. You're basically going to drop straight and sprint straight back with a slight tinge to the left. So again, we snap the ball, first step, run straight back around the guy. And now we're in a spot where I'm hitting a blue cross body. You see right there, if not for a KO, you know, that's an absolute laser. So again, just setting up a, uh, a, a good route combo for what the shell is, is pretty imperative but i mean you see just how dangerous this can be cross body run to weak side as long as you get blues it doesn't matter again i'll snap this ball back straight and then kind of out to the left now we're moving i'm gonna throw a little off body and you see right there if not for a crazy interception animation you know that ball is accurate right so uh you know you're gonna be able to beat these slot corner blitzes quite easy quite easy and honestly this is from all under center type formations that go five out a lot of players out there will do some pretty nasty stuff where you know they're going to try to contain you um so like let me show you an example if i were to come out in this wing tight formation and uh they want to run like a super spread out d line with contains well this is great but the truth is no matter what I can still make this guy dumb out. So basically, again, all you really have to do is just set up your side protection opposite of the roll outside, double team the D tackle, snap the ball, basically run back and then slightly to the side that you wanna to run to. And then from there, it's basically all about, you see right there, that's a blue, it's accurate, it's down the field, it's cross body, run to weak side, against the body, against the grain, against everything. This ball shouldn't be completed, but if you can hit blues, you will. So this is gonna be pretty problematic. You guys need to be aware of this when players do go under center. Again, this is quite difficult to deal with. Um, you're seeing a lot of players going out to this in the community. This is something I talked about on Gridiron months and months ago. I mean, I was putting out these rollout setups literally the first night the game came out in the Gridiron Vault. Um, and it just comes full circle eventually, you know, at the end of February, this is starting to become meta. It's been on Gridiron since literally my first vault update. Go all the way back to August and you'll see it. I mean, four man lines, five man fronts, how to do this pretty consistently. Um, and now with the knowledge of the blues that everyone is out there talking about, this is so much tougher to deal with, especially if you're good at the blues. Now you don't have to spend AP on roaming dead eye. But again, I've got you guys covered with the defense. Hit those 250 likes on this video and I'll save you guys tomorrow. Have fun. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab and good luck.